The whole idea behind the prestige is to have this continuity between the cockpit, the galley and the living room. This is the blueprint that made the Prestige 60 so successful and that we managed to repeat with the Prestige 500S thanks to the large hull and the large volume we could obtain because of the long sport top, which can close with this wide door and give a panoramic view towards the stern. Here we can see the large fully equipped galley and the spacious living room. The main idea is to be in constant panoramic view, 360 degrees, even from the steering station, which is located in the corner, but which is totally embedded in the living area. When sailing, there is the serious zone with all the essential driving equipment, but you remain in constant contact with people in the living room. The original idea behind the Prestige 500, the genius idea of Vittorio Garoni, lies with this owner's cabin and its own private access. Vittorio will tell us more about it. The main asset of the Prestige 500 is this owner's cabin and the fact that it can be directly reached from the back. It's just like owning a large yacht where the owner has the privilege of having its own private access to the cabin. The classic design requires an access that is actually going down to the bow and then back to the stern in order to reach the owner's cabin. It proved to be a total waste of space. With our original layout, we now have a direct access to the cabin, meaning we gain space to make the cabin wider to the size you usually find in much larger yachts. Let's visit the cabin together. The stairs only count five steps, and you can now see the door of the cabin, which is nice and large. Now we are inside the cabin, and you can see there are different types of lighting. First, we have ambience lighting above the bed and windows. Then there are LED spotlights that give off a nice glow in the cabin. You can notice that it is possible to stand upright throughout the whole cabin, even near the bed. It is also important to point out that the cabin offers a lot of storage space, with large drawers under the bed. The large cupboard also offers lots of storage. Here you can see the bedside tables and their drawers. Here you have a table which can either be used as a dressing table or a desk for your computer. The flat screen TV is idly placed at the end of the bed and we also have more storage over here. Let's now move to the head. We enter through a double door, which makes it much easier. You have the toilet and the sink. Once again, lots of storage with more drawers and a mirrored cabinet. Across, you have the shower which has its own doors and where you can stand upright. We are right under the steering station. And now let's have a shower. Now we are at the helm with a new double screen dashboard. The double screen is particularly useful for sailing because you can have the general map on one screen and on the other the detailed map of your current location. It is a comfortable helm chair that seats two people. Here you have the steering system and the joystick that allows you to sail the yacht in the desired direction. The windows are electric and offer a large opening, just like the roof panel which can be activated from the pilot seat. If you open the hot top, you can easily steer the boat in a standing position overlooking directly outside. Sans se gêner, on a toute la place. Nous avons 
Here you also have another TV which can be released by pressing this button here. You can see the TV stands automatically. So Vittorio just showed us the living area and the owner's cabin. Once again, the main idea behind the boat was to separate the owner's cabin from the VIP cabin. The trick was to dedicate the whole boat to the double VIP cabin. On the side, you also have a second cabin with two beds convertible into one comfortable double bed. There is also a large head with its own shower, creating its own independent suite. Let's have a look. Now we can discover the VIP cabin. The originality of this cabin lies in its different possible configurations. You can put the bed on the side to gain space on starboard side to access the bathroom. You can also have two single beds put on each side of the cabin to offer access to a large door placed in the middle of the room. Or you may choose the more classical option of a large double bed. Please appreciate the volume of the bow cabin created thanks to the size of the hull. You can even enjoy the comfort of a king-size bed. We have a cabin which is far superior in quality and volume to anything you can find in this range of boats, and it includes air conditioning. We paid special attention to storage space with two large cupboards, one on each side, of much better quality than earlier versions. This means we gave priority to comfort and storage while offering lots of options. So here is the second coat cupboard with close access to the head. Here is the head with a separate shower. You can notice the attention to detail is to the level of the finish you would find on the Prestige 60. This choice of layout with two bow cabins and a large head allows first for a large VIP cabin and second for space for a large third cabin. You can see how wide the third cabin is with two single beds which can be converted into a double bed and once again a large cupboard to meet the customer's demand for more storage space. This third cabin is unlike that of most 50 feet motor yacht, which are often quite small, but a beautiful cabin in its own right with lots of room, lights and storage. Last little trick of this boat, the washing machine is ideally placed under the stairs leading to the bow cabins. You simply have to lift the stairs to have access to the combined washer-dryer. Sound-wise, the washing machine is placed as far away as possible from either main cabin, once again for added comfort.